Hey y'all, this is Zach with Meals Under Pressure. All right, I know we're normally cooking, but today we're doing something a little bit different. Um, we're at Epcot in Orlando, Florida, the World Showcase. We're gonna do something that I've been wanting to do for a while, the Epcot Food Challenge. We're gonna try to eat around the world. We're gonna hit every, you know, all 11 of the, uh, of the country pavilions and see if we can make it all the way from Mexico to, to Canada. All right, we're, we're in the uh, Mexico pavilion. I can see if you can see it in the background. Yeah, there you go. Uh, we're gonna start here at Mexico, and uh, and we're kind of gonna do it on a budget. You know, times are tight right now, so we're not gonna do a lot of the uh, the sit down restaurants. We're gonna hit a lot of the you know the little cafes that are outside the, the main pavilion. So, all right, let's go. All right, we're walking into Mexico. We've got the La Cantina here on the right. So they've got tacos and nachos, churros, kids meals, and margaritas. I know my wife wants a, uh, a margarita. Let's look at the menu here. Guacamole with totapos. All right, let's get in line. All right, so we end up ordering from what is the place chose the day margarita what'd you get i got tostadas chicken tostadas. tostadas oh that's good and this is uh guac mole and chips that's good 10 out of 10 yeah oh that's a big chunk all right we're gonna eat this then we're gonna go outside and get us a margarita all right so what do you think oh a little messy, but very good. I agree. All right, what'd you get? All right, this is the Casa Avocado Margarita. Say that one more time. Avocado Avocado. So it's the Avocado Margarita. Avocado Margarita. Taste. How is it? That's too good. I don't want to get... That's, uh, that's really good. How much did that cost? I think my tip was like 17 bucks. Okay. All right, finish it up. We got to go to the next one. All right, Mexico is a wrap. We went ahead and rode the ride while we were in there. It's pretty cool. It's only about a five minute wait. And it rained while we were inside like it does every day in Florida. All right, on to Norway, number two. I think we're gonna also try to ride Frozen while we're in here. All right, let's see what they got. All right, we're going into the Kringla. I don't know how to pronounce this. Some kind of cafe here in Norway. Ooh, it feels good in here. All right, I have to get my kid in here. I'm sure. This looks like all. Sweet stuff, school bread. That's the most popular yeah, I've seen. Is, but, yeah, but it's got coconut. I don't want that. Yeah, hey, what's the most popular? But that's the school bread's got coconut on it, right? Yeah, I don't like coconut. Okay, yeah, I don't want that. Chocolate Kringles. Right Chocolate Kringles. Right so what is it? Okay. That's, that's it. That's what it's at. Alright, let's get it. Alright. All right. Alright, so we got a chocolate kringla. How is it? What does it taste like? It's a jelly with a little chocolate. I don't eat sweets a lot, but I'll try it. It's actually really good. Yeah. It's like a jelly with like chocolate and... How much was it? Uh, I don't remember, six something? Let's see. Six dollars and 29 cents. All right, we didn't ride Frozen because there was an 80 minute line. We were gonna wait in that. But we can't leave Norway without seeing the troll. There he is.
All right, the big wooden troll. That's a huge. All right, so Norway is good if you like sweets, a lot of pastries. Isn't really my thing, but what I did taste was good. All right, so China's coming up next. Let's see what they have here at their little, this little uh, side shop right here. Dan Dan noodles, some kind of Mongolian beef bun, and pan fried chicken dumplings. You want to see what they got on the inside? Yeah. Okay. All right, I think we're going to hit up the Lotus Blossom Cafe for some egg rolls. All right, so we went with the pork rolls. These were how much? Five twenty-five yeah. for two of them. Let's see. Those are pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Let's see what we can get. Lots of vegetables. Yeah, it's got a good taste to it. Good. All right. All right, these really are good. Um, how are you feeling? They're good. They got a lot of meat in them, actually. More meat than I would thought they would have. Are you getting full yet? <laughs> We're only on country number three. Okay. So, all right. Pork rolls definitely a hit. All right, China was a hit. What comes after China? Germany. Germany? Okay, what do you want for Germany? Do you know? Do you know? No, something little. Uh, you, starting you're, start, you're starting to feel it. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm thinking either a uh, bratwurst or pretzel. All right. The pretzels are big. Let's go find out. All right, Germany, here we are. All right, so the roast bratwurst with a pretzel, pretzel bread. I'm gonna dip mine in mustard. Cheers. It's pretty good. You can definitely tell that's pretzel bread. Yeah, you can definitely taste the pretzel bread. You can taste the bratwurst. Good. How you feeling? I'm getting full. Well, we got a ways to go. All right, what's next? Italy, France? Italy? Maybe. All right, let's finish this. Let's go. Going. All right, the bratwurst was really good, but that was a whole lot of bread. I can't do bread. That's a whole lot of bread. The so, is good. yeah. So, we're going to have to go look at some of the shops in Germany and let that kind of settle on our stomachs before we go to the next one. Okay, let's go in here. Caramel something, handcrafted caramel treats. Hey. Oh, they've got a Christmas store. Oh, 
All right, on to the next. All right, so Italy comes after Germany here at Epcot. How does a big bowl of spaghetti sound? Absolutely not. You know, it's hot outside. We have them. We need to get one of those Italian ices. Is that what they call it? Italian ice? Italian ice cream? Something like that? I say. Something to cool like down? Yes. Oh, no, All right. Let's see what they have here in Italia. Nothing heavy. Oh, you can do it. Let's see. What they have here on the outdoor Sorry, marquee. Alright, I can't pronounce any of that. Potato dumplings with four cheese sauce. Orange blossom. Something with seasonal berries. How's potato uh, dumplings sound? Okay. Passing on the potato dumplings. I saw other YouTubers that were doing this. They were eating like an Italian ice, kind of like a snow cone. All right, let's find that. All right, so it's actually not called Italian ice. It's called sorbet. And we're going to get a lemon sorbet and share it before we move on. Is that us? Yep. Lemon, lemon. Is that yes, sorbet? Yes. That's ours. Okay. All right. <laughs> you got spoons? Yes. All right. It looks good. It looks cold. It does. Same. Oh, that's so good. Got it? It's, yeah, I got it. All right. It's definitely refreshing. It's not heavy. Oop. And he's making a mess. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me try. Mm. Definitely All right. good. Yeah, that's good. I really like it. All right, definitely on to good. the next. All right, we are here in America. We're gonna go see the American Adventure. Let's see, food-wise, I could bet hamburgers, hot dogs, pulled pork, barbecue. That's what I'm guessing. Is that sorbet hitting you? Good. Yeah. All right. What do you want to try here in America? Let's watch the show and then let's talk. Yeah. All right. We're gonna go watch the show and then we'll eat after. We're going in here. All right, we're here at the Hops and Barley Market. Freshly baked carrot cake, hot beef sandwich. Chesapeake crab slider, that's what I want right there. Chesapeake crab slider for seven bucks. Here we go. Oh, we enter here. Hey, I want a Chesapeake Crab slider and a water. water? Yep. It's gonna be 1050. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you. I crumbled it up, sorry. Oh, that's good. Are Just you up for it? I'll take a bite. You're that's slowing all, down. That's all I got is a bite. We got five more countries to go to. How is it? Good. That is good. It's got a remoulade sauce on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to keep eating this. On to the next country. All right, so we kind of got out of order. We came to France, so we can stand in a 80-minute, 80 80-minute 80 line to see Ratatouille. So 
Once we get done with this ride, it's gonna be all worth it. Once we get done with this ride, we'll probably eat here in France and then go back and hit Japan and, and Morocco the ones we had to skip. So we'll see y'all after the uh, after the ride. All right, so we're in France. We just got done riding the Ratatouille ride. This was a lot of fun. And now we're looking for macaroons. Is this it? All right. Oh yeah, there they are right there. All right, macaroons coming up. All right. This is thicker on this side too. That's it. Uh, to go. Yeah, water. Water, please. Bottle. All right, here we go. How much was that? Uh, four something. I'm cut it in half because it's kind of messy. And I don't want a big piece. I don't like sweet stuff that much. I just want to try a little piece. You can have the rest of it. That's cold in the middle. Mm. That's, that's very sweet. It is very sweet. That lemon. All right, you really finish good. that. We got to go back to Japan and Morocco. Got it. All right, that thing was super sweet, but it was good. But it's time for some real food. All right, we're on our way to Morocco. We're at the Tangerine Cafe in Morocco. What about yes. kebabs? Is that yes. what you want? Yep. 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 Five seventy-five. Can't beat it. All right. Kebabs. Chicken. Just one. Alright, how's it look? Alright, looks 10 out of 10. That sauce is going to be the. What's, a, what's on the oh, bottle? What's that? What's carrots? Some kind of pea salad, pea salad, chickpea salad. Yeah, it's good. Try that. I'll try it. That was good. Yeah. Yeah, that's good stuff. Alright. Where are we going next? Japan. Japan's next. Alright, we'll see y'all in Japan. All right, so we are at Japan. We had to skip it earlier, but we're back. I think most of the YouTubers that take this challenge get sushi, which is fine with me, but maybe there's something else that looks good. We're gonna see. What we got over here? Teriyaki chicken bun, no. Octopus. Octopus is Everybody out. Sound is out. All right, let's keep looking. All right, so in Japan we went with the standard. We just got a California roll, um, six bucks, but it only has four pieces of sushi in there, so that's a little bit disappointing. But we'll see how they taste. Sorry with 
not the best sushi I've had. So, all right, let's finish season. Where are we going next? England. England's next. England. Yeah. So, all right, we'll see y'all in England. All right, we are coming into England. And everybody gets fish and chips here, but I don't want fish and chips. I want something else. So we're going to see what England has to offer besides fish and chips. All right, so in England, they've got a fish and chip stand that sells pretty much just fish and chips. And then they've got the Rose and Crown. Well, they got a dining room, another dining room, but it had to wait. So we went ahead and went with the fish and chips. Yep. Now, I don't know what traditional British fish and chips are supposed to taste like. And it's huge. Oh, uh, huge. Like, we're going to know how you break it. All right, definitely not the kind of fish I'm used to. What does it taste like? Let me just bite on this one. Sorry. It's not pretty. I mean, it just tastes like some kind of fish with batter. Not the special. Not the special. All right. Well, this is huge. This might do us in. Yeah. But we have one more country to go to. We're headed to Canada now, so let's... Walk and Let's eat. See how we do. All right, Canada it is. All right, so we made it to Canada. We're still eating on the fish and chips, but I'm not a fan. Not a fan. But I'm gonna finish because that's the challenge. All right. What do we got here in Canada? The, yeah. There's an apple seed orchard. That's the one, the food and wine. Okay. So I guess we have food. apple crumble tart. We might have to rethink that. We'll walk on by, but we'll rethink that. Okay, so we're going to find out what to eat in Canada. The restaurant in here is reservation only. We don't have reservations, so we've got to eat something that's that's out here. So, ooh, what do we got here? Cheddar and bacon soup. All right, that, that might be a contender. All right, we're going to figure this out, and we'll let you know. All right, so we're ending our Eat Around the World Challenge in Canada, and we got a maple cheesecake with um, pecans on top. Pecans. So oh, I've been wanting good. to do this for a while. We've done it. Um, I know she feels like she's about to explode. I'm, about to explode. I'm still I'm good. I could, it. I could eat some more. Not those fish and chips, though. Mm. I'd go back and eat the, the kebabs again. Let me give this a try. This uh, is so. I'm not a big sweets fan, but I do like. Cheesecake. Oh, that maple. Oh, that is good. You can taste yeah, it. That is good. You know what? Four bucks? Five bucks? Yeah, it was. Yeah, four fifty. Done. We are done. Thank you for watching. All right, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed our video. We were going to do a bonus round because there was a place called the Fry Basket that's only here during the uh, Food and Wine Festival, but it we got stuck on a test track ride, so it was it was closed by talking about anyway. If you like this video, like and subscribe to our channel. Well, like I said, we usually cook. This, this has been on our bucket list for a while, so we decided to do this. Uh, but stick with us. we got some more great recipes coming up. All right. We'll, we'll see ya. Check y'all later.